making it to the NBA has always been a dream for me. That was the reason I moved here, to be honest. Being from the Bahamas, you don't really have as much access to what everyone has here. It just makes you a little bit hungrier. My expectation at Baylor is to get better every day, to win freshman of the year, to win a national championship, and to go number one pick. My name is B. Jaskum, I'm 18, I play basketball, and this is No Days Off. I've been playing basketball since I was eight. That's when I fell in love with basketball. I play shooting guard, now I'm a backup point guard. You know, everyone wanna be a point guard. I score the ball, make plays for others, and just play defense. It's the most exciting part about being a shooting guard. You're like interchangeable, so I get to go different positions. Growing up in Bimini, Bahamas, playing basketball there was always fun, to be honest. You know, I play against grown men. I mean, now in America, you play against everyone your age, you know. You're back home in the Bahamas, you just play pickup for the fun of it. Being from the Bahamas, you don't really have as much access to what everyone has here. You don't have access to video games, you don't have access to TikTok or Instagram. You're just running through the street, playing basketball. It just makes you a little bit hungrier. In 2020, I moved to America with my brother. He was in college, but I moved in with him, you know, just to try to get some looks, try to get a free education and go somewhere. Didn't matter the level. Making it to the NBA has always been a dream for me. So we had to take the steps. Whatever it had to be done, had to be done in order for me to get, you know, free education. And then just work hard from there for me. Ten and Luai, I mean, from coming up from last year, it's been great. Training with Coach Jay is a little different, you know. He's seen how the pros train, so I go through a little pro workout, mainly shots and conditioning. So we try to do everything game speed. Now it's more of a balance, you know, trying to balance school, basketball, practices, individual workouts. Um, you know, you just try to stay focused up here. We practice six times a week, but VJ will always get extra work. Then he'll go through a routine of shooting, form shooting, stretching. Once practice is over, immediately after that, he gets some more shots, some more free throws, some more jumpers. He doesn't do anything on Sundays because it's like his church day, he relaxes. Every once in a while, he'll try to do something on Sundays if, if it's been a stretch, but his schedule is pretty packed with either training or lifting weights. Yeah, at Luha, I remember a game. It was at the Gauchos, the Jordan Classic. That's where I caught a dunk that went viral. Yeah, watching VJ play in person is a joy. It's um, it's different. Everybody else, they grew up with TikTok, Instagram. You don't really have that. He steps on the floor, we're not friends. I'm gonna try to rip your face off, and then the game's over, then I love you again, and that's it. So watching him play, for me, it's refreshing, really refreshing. I had a lot of offers, but my last three schools was Kentucky, Baylor, and Duke. And that's what even made it harder because it's two blue bloods with great resumes, great culture. And then you have Baylor there too, that was still a great program. So I made a decision now to go to Baylor. So I feel like that was the right one for me too. VJ choosing Baylor University, I think, was really for him the relationships and the fit and the fact that it's not that different from here. Baylor University is one of the greatest academic schools in the country. No one really knows about that. And it's just a really quiet, small knit community. And I think for him, that allows for him to thrive and grow. My expectation at Baylor is to get better every day, to win freshman of the year, to win a national championship, and to go number one pick. All right, I'm super excited. VJ's here, he doesn't know what's going on. Right behind me is the screen that VJ's gonna be on. He doesn't really know yet, but right on that screen, he'll be right on Times Square, um, showing his commitment to Baylor and some of the film that he took on his commitment day. So super excited about that. My dad's here or something? Trying to get an interview or something? <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> That's moving out, bro. What I'm most excited about is probably just going out there to hoop and being, you know, my family gonna be around me. I'm definitely excited to see if I can get some, some buckets in there for sure. The success look like for me. I mean, for me, probably just finding peace. I mean, you know, you wanna make it, you wanna have money, you wanna have all that, but I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing if you're not, if you don't have peace, you know, you just, being a miserable person all day, I don't want to be that. My dream world of peace would probably be like moving back home, like after retirement or something, just living a happy life with a happy family. So that's finding peace for me. The thing that makes me the most proud of him is that he hasn't changed. He's gotten older, but he's just gotten better in terms of his maturity, but he hasn't changed. He loves everyone. He's just a really good person. It's, it's God and family for him in basketball. So just, you know, seeing him this happy is good. God. It's cold. I feel good, but I'm freezing. <laughs>